Welcome to Doll Amroth, everybody. This is the campaign to watch if you're in for some, you know, silver swanny, white ship, bannery action. You know, we're talking about Belfalas. We're talking about the lovely prince. We are talking about all the good things that make up a proud nation of people who maintain order, apparently. Welcome to the Cutton Total Waffle Show. And um, with this, I want to stress that being this the first uh, beginning to a new campaign in a little while, the Dr. Total Waffle program or Dr. Waffle program is absolutely in effect. And you can, free of charge, send your campaign saves to the email address link, uh, linked below, or it's not linked, but it'll be written below, so you can put it in wherever, uh, wherever you need to put emails in, in order to uh, safely send them, and uh, then you can ship them off to uh, have your very own campaign played on this channel. Maybe I will even go so far as to say you can send in an, a sick campaign and the doctor will heal. That is where we are, that is the spiel. So, with all that sort of done and dusted, let's get around to the actual campaign. Doll Amroth's campaign is an interesting one. We're sort of sitting here in the, the far reaches of Gondor and uh, life is good, life is lovely. Except for the fact that we have a host of enemies. To the south mostly, but uh, Mordor will also rear their head at some point, presumably. But our key objective here will be to safeguard the lands of Gondor um, from any southern invasion. So that would mean taking the Straits of the Anduin, taking the Mirlond Gap, holding Gobel Tolfalas, and of course, pushing back against any pirates. Um, our chief aim here shall be to vanquish them in Umbar so that they don't send out too many pesky pirates, though pesky the pirates are, and we cannot be sure that uh, they'll leave us alone before Umbar is ours. That's simply the name of the game. Then there is Harad, of course, and uh, possibly Kand as well. Probably Kand as well. They usually side with Mordor in these things. And uh, we side against Mordor, so how about that? Let's click on Dol Amroth and make good on our promise to make this land wonderful. What do you think? I was going to reference a American political campaign? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that here. We're not going to do it. Um, what we are going to do is promote a little growth, perhaps. Because we will need some solid growth from settlements like this. And anything we add to this population growth will show quick results with a population that starts out with this size. So that would be nice. But in many ways, you could also argue that... Um, it's our military bastion, and so should be reinforced in that manner. So a leather tanner might actually be a good idea. It also adds a little bit to our economy. A small, but noticeable amount. How is our mines situation? Eh. I mean, it's baseload mine territory. Not Nothing special. Nothing grand. Nothing fancy. Um, Metrast. Yeah, this place will need some growth probably, but um, we're going to get it from maybe communal farming or some public fountains. But a mason's hall might actually be a good call because we do have a lot to get through here. Uh, and a Thelend. Yeah. Mm. This place. Oh boy. Um, it's hard to grow. It doesn't trade fantastically well with anyone. It's a city, that's the only economic benefit it has to its name. So it can get some Merchant's Wharf, you know, at the end of the game it can become a decent trade hub. But it's gonna take some work to get us there, it really will. Um, so, Mason's Hall maybe? Hmm, yeah, because we're gonna do a lot of work. And then... We can also use it as a decent military base, but we will need to build out our infrastructure, and infrastructure takes time. So to reduce it, Mason's Hall it is. Linear, hmm, this is an interesting one. Because like Gobotolfalas, it's going to be a place that uh, we'll see some fighting, probably. And there's a tiny bit of corruption. And we can almost take it completely out of the game by simply constructing a militia garrison. 
Which is a very interesting proposition. But actually, what I'm going to do is build a barracks. And then I remember something about us having some um, rebels to deal with in this area. Hmm. Yeah, where to send all our units? We should probably send quite a few units down here to these parts. So, you know, can is this guy with uh, free of upkeep here? No, he's not. Oh. Okay, and Dolamroth? Hmm. The last time I played Dolamroth, you had to actively take Ethelent back from rebel forces. That is no longer the case, which is interesting. Ooh, but um, if my past experiences are anything to go by, then Imbrahil is a wonderful fella to have at the front. So off to the front he shall go. I'm actually inclined to take Istion and put him in Methrast instead of Imrahil. Though he might be a better fighter than he is a lover. Amandir, who are you? Are you a lover or a fighter? Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. Goble Tolfalas. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking, thinking all these things through. You know, I will take a single Mason's Hall and then we will build a barracks. It'll get one turn quicker to build from just constructing this thing. So it'll essentially start paying itself off immediately. And we should probably do the same thing in Do Goble Tolfalas as well. We have a decent economy, but it's not great. So as soon as we move any troops out of free upkeep mode, we're going to feel it. You know what? Let's put some militia cavalry in Methrast, actually. Or someone from Dol Amroth, maybe. Nah, not really feeling any one of those guys. So, boom. Off to Methrast, you go. Um, and then I'm thinking that we could actually ship all those guys from that fort, all these cavalry fellas, down this way. They might even be joined by Amandir. And then we have a lovely little cavalry team going. Here we have some Nimrodal Mariners. We should definitely put these guys in the fort. We can always send them on from there. And then there is Prince Atrahil. What do we do with this fella? I mean, he's a 127 strong monster of a melee fighter, if I remember right. Yep, Talon Knights. Doesn't get more monstrous than that, at least on our team. And um, since he doesn't really make that much of a difference to Dol Amroth itself, I'm inclined to actually just put him in a fort. Get a little extra cash going. Just in the beginning where we are constructing buildings and all that. Do we have any... Uh, yeah, we've got this lovely, lovely agent. Where can he go? Well, we could try to uh, stir up peace talks with our neighbours. You know, just to keep Harad slightly off... <laughs> off balance, diplomatically. Can we do that? Who knows? I'm not sure. Can we get any spies? Spies might be really nice. Yeah, we can get spies. And we can get some squires as well. It'll take a couple of turns, but it's going to be good. And here we have Baragund. He is... What is he? Is he a mariner? He must be, I suppose. By the looks of things. Ooh, we can buy some Haven Guard. It is a good infantry unit. I'll get him. And I'll get the mariners as well. And Dolan must should probably be training too. Amrothian Pikeman, a lovely unit in the early stages of the game. I mean, actually, just the game period. Um, because they're so cheap and cost-effective. That's the thing about them. Cost-effective. Oh, look at that expense. Yeah, okay. But we're, we're probably going to go for a bit of a rapid expansion down here as soon as possible. So we're going to start out with these three. And uh, they can funnel themselves in this general direction. This fellow, Mistvin, who are you? Are you a, um, are you a spearman sort of type? I seem to remember you are. 
You are a seaward spearman type. There you go. Back into Tolvalas, I suppose. Um... Though we will want you somewhere else in the long run. You could probably leave Gobble Tolvalas next turn. With a, with a little luck. Uh, and then we can send you down here to aid the others. Uh, at the uh, Balatharn, isn't that what it's called? I think it is. Anyway, welcome to the campaign. Let's have turn number two. Wouldn't you know it, we arrive at turn number two and the uh, council have gotten the great idea of listening in to my plans and tailoring their requests to whatever they hear. Which is very nice of them. Oh, hello there, Azrazair warriors. Yeah, we're just going to keep you there. My lord. As you wish. I mean, if they can slow down an enemy assault across the straits, that would be damned lovely. That would be damned lovely. Um, ah, what do we have here? We have a, a meeting hall and we have a fortress giving us these three slots. Okay, but we can probably send these guys out into the fort. We can even send these in there. We can send everybody into a fort. That's pretty good. I like that. Because we're going to need some money for next turn. Um, and Adrahil, yeah. You, you're not going to be free now. But you're going to be free next turn. It's going to be good. It's going to be nice. Um, Mithrast, you have two free slots. And you're using them. And you know what? You're using them well enough. These lovely fellows will go to the sea. Oh, that's where Baron Hard is. Uh, okay. Mariners. Ships ready. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. Can you get out? Yeah, you can. It's okay. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now these guys put together with the cavalry can probably take on quite a bit of uh, menace. That's my plan at least. And hopefully they'll just attack us on the turn and we will capture the settlement. That's the plan. Do not fail me now. <laughs> um, use Nova Dersen. Use Nova Dersen. Yeah, you will go in there. Mithrast continues doing its thing. These militia guys. Oh my lord. Nimradan has... Ah, put himself right there. Okay, well, uh, there's only one thing we can do to this. That is run in and run out. Alright, here we are. Uh, we've been ambushed and we need to retreat. So uh, let's do it. And let's be quick about it. Dum, 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 dum. They don't have any cavalry, do they? No, 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 they don't because they're just uh, on foot. And we managed to get out of range. Sort of. Almost. No, not at all, actually. Why are you running so close to them? I will not get it in a million years. Ah, and they are slightly faster than us, aren't they? Just withdraw! Withdraw! Run away! Run away! The feat seems almost certain. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does seem almost certain. Let's just keep running. Pull back! You can save your skins! Thank me later or something. My god, they're quick. Bloody Corsairs. Oh, and ah, oh, they got stuck on a blade of... They got stuck on flowers! What is that? Ah. Uh. Yeah. This defeat is a bitter drop to it looks like they got stuck on lavender bushes of all things. From this most foul cup. We inflicted 45 casualties, but okay. Well, I'll, I'll take what I can get, I suppose. So we return to find the backers train lost, and that means slight drop in income, but life is okay. Ready 
Okay. Amandir forgives you. It's all right. Yes, my lord. Artheon, though. Yeah, we should probably send this fellow out <laughs> before anything else. Um, but we didn't, and uh, that's what you get for being a dum dum. Yes. But at least he's a decent spy. You send him over here to Barthar. It is very decently doing a dine, but we can always use him to push the figures up a little yes. bit of a notch. That would be nice. That would be good. It would be lovely. Um. Is that it? I suppose it might be it. Yeah. Imrahil has come under attack, and let's hope that he holds up better than Captain Brave Sir Robin ran away. We're up against Soul Swords. That's our most terrifying foe for today, and they have a pretty terrifying bit of melee damage that they can do. That being said, their friends aren't up to much. The Warband can be scary due to their spearman nature, but beyond that, not too bad. Um, pretty light, so a rear charge will end them. And the bandits and the Haradrim archers, I mean the archers can of course snipe you a little bit, but we can ha hound them with our cavalry militia and not make any odds. It's it's pretty good. So, um, Captain Anoras, you are about to be challenged for the power of the realm. But first, we have to save the game and define the campaign. I'd like to say we're doling out justice. How about that? Boom. Um, yeah, that'll do. Imrahil, you know what to do. Let them have it, man. Here we are. The camera swings up, and uh, we put us. Let's put our infantry into a decent position. Cavalry militia. Ooh, let's keep you on this side of things, and then we'll put the Royal Swan Guard over on this side of things. Maybe we'll even put them a little further apart. So. There, and then Imrahil over there. Good. So now they'll just spend a while making their way out the bloody door. I think we should put the cavalry, uh, sorry, the Gondor militia on this side so we can slightly shield our sweet, sweet spearman general. Uh, Mistvin, right? Yes, Mistvin it was, yeah. Okay, look at this, look at this. They're clamping together in a pretty awkward way. And here is the general, right? No, 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 he's not there yet. No, he hasn't made his way out. While they are in a bit of a disarray. Shmum, 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 shmum. And, um, schmack, schmack, schmack. And the Southern Warband, yeah, that's a bit annoying, but uh, let's see how they react to our other charges. Okay, now might be a good time. It's all about timing. Okay. Seems almost certain. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Uh, you guys, no. Back, back, back. You've done a decent job, but back, 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 back. Actually, you haven't done much of a decent job. You've been absolutely obliterated. Come on. we got to get these guys to move against us somehow. Mm-hmm. Haradra marches over there. And there. Okay. 
smack those warband in the head. Those are coming over to get some, and they will get some. Let's see, we have an Iron Fist ability. Um, yeah, extra combat effectiveness, which might be good right about now, I suppose. Okay. Cavalry, get out of there. Royal Swan Guard, wanna take another swing at them? Yeah, I think you do. Ooh, this is interesting. Ooh, we might have to actually just plow through them in some way and assist with our cavalry. Cavalry friends. Do we have any special abilities with this guy? Nope, not really. Oh, hello. A rear charge on Southrons to will present itself. Aha. Yeah, you guys cannot stand that melee for long. And you have absolutely crushed Imrahil. Ha ha ha. You're a lovely man. Half the enemy force remains. And uh, RC was being a doing good. And our general there is very safe by the looks of things. I am absolutely loving it. Ooh, a decisive charge if there was one. Oh, but it's John, you gotta get out of there. For the glory of Numenor! Or something like that. Oh, they're all running. They're all running. That's excellent. Just keep running down the fleeing. Because while the cell swords are in disarray, we can use this opportunity to just gut the rest of their forces. And we can force the cell swords into an engagement that will be completely untenable for them. Okay. Gondor Militia, come this way. Actually, we can rest and just let them come to us. Just gotta get everybody over to the gate, of, sort of. Give those Haradri marchers a push. Okay, the cell swords have st stopped chasing their tails. That's something. Harathra marches in there. Let's just get him with our cavalry militia. That should be sufficient. Ooh, they're running after us. That's a fascinating turn of events. Schmackishmack. 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 Very much in our favor. Victory. Our men have taken. How are you doing here? Oh, you're doing our so well. No the city. That's good. That's good. It's very good. All right, the infantry is holding it. The enemy. It's John. You know what to do. Apparently, you don't know what to do. Go back and do it properly this time. Yeah, yeah, that's better. And Imrahil gets it immediately because he's the man. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, that's an eye-watering amount of pain there. The enemy general and he flees. Like Good. Ision, stay on him. Make sure he doesn't get away. Pursue and run them down. I want to see him captured. I want to see him gone. But there he is running. So, how are you getting on? Ah, there you go. You caught him. Very, very nice. The enemy are utterly vanquished. 
This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Gondor cavalry militia losing the most and well except for the Gondor militia but uh, they also healed the most the cavalry militia that is and they deal, dealt a decent amount of casualties to the enemy uh, but Imrahil Imrahil you sly fella with a strong horse you're welcome in my barn any day. Baratharn is ours, and uh, I think we should just occupy it. It'll be a nice little boon to us. Enemy camp sacked. My lord. Spy gets in there. And here we'll need to build something. We'll probably need to defend it quite a bit. Okay, Mason's Hall, then Militia Garrison, I think. My lord. Let's see, how are we getting on with uh, finding Harad? Yes. Ah, we've got their border now. Your order. As and you there's Ammonitel. Hello. Yes. We'll be with you next turn, apparently. Now. Um, yes, Spalathan is taken. Good. Good, good, good. Mariners of the fleet! Mariners of the fleet! Mariners! Alright, you guys, you can go into that fort, actually. And from there, you can probably move on next turn. Yes, sounds good. Sounds good to me. And... Okay, over here, we've got an infantry transport. But they can't get to that part. Oh, okay. So we're going to go over there. And on you go. Because we should probably take Tirithoros if possible. Because if we don't, then Kand will and... Can yes, is not the kind of people we want to be to have, to have loitering around over there. The Can we take everyone except the Gondor militia for now? Ready your I think we can. Forward. Yes, we can. Okay, we we just about can. Okay. <laughs> we can send them into that fort. They can be free upkeep. Life is good. Uh, makes up a bit for the guys out on the road here. And political news are pretty predictable. The Moria faction going to war with the Anduin Bale, of the Minion of Isengard against the Rohan. Nothing new under the sun. What's going on here? There must be. There must be some rebels in the wild. Taking a pretty penny out of Mithrast by the looks of things. Okay, by Meldir. Um, we will want you sort of over here. I think maybe it's a good to get the cavalry over first. Yeah, we'll get the cavalry over first. We'll see how many troops we'll need for taking to the Thoros. It's probably going to be a bit more than we want, but... But the thing is, we're going to we're gonna make a sacrifice for our Grand nation. Um, Master Mason's Hall is a good building, but it doesn't provide th the same level of boost that the other one does. The first one is 15% cost, 20% time. This, 35% time and 25% cost, which means that one increases by 10 percentage points and that one by 15. So, uh, Cost-benefit analysis suggests we might want to do other upgrades now, like the communal farming. 
which is now on four turns. That's also the amount of time it would take with the Master Mason's Hall if I am anywhere good at memorizing things. Um, communal farming in Lin here? Maybe a good idea. But I'm thinking a barracks would also be nice. Because Amandir will soon need to go to Baratan, I think. And then he will be the principal defender of that particular region. Region. Um, Gerbertol for us. What can we get you? We could give you a meeting hall and uh, put some extra troops in defense with barracks and things like that. Might be good. Though actually, you know what, we can get to the third level with Goebel Tolfalas and maybe it's a good idea so we just get steamrolly on uh, the building plans over there. Dolamroth. You can do... You can do a Mason's Hall now. Theland, you can do... Uh, communal farming. Yeah, I think communal farming is best. Extra growth, extra income. And we do need that. So far, so grand. And we're not losing hand over fist kind of money. Yes, my lord. We're just losing a decent amount of money. Hello, Berigond. A man with a pipe, apparently. Diplomatic nature, he's good at his job, he's got nights right in you, and he is uh, carrying the signet ring. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. While we're at it, actually, let's build a couple of towers. We want to keep an eye on this place. Onwards! All right, new faces. Borniven. Betrothed to Ivriniel, and he seems like a capable commander. Yeah. Come along, good sir, come along. To Methrest of all places. Hmm. Mm hmm. I am seeing potential. And we need to get to know Cand, apparently. My lord. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, yes. I, yeah, yeah. Maybe I am a little brave, but um, what do you say? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Never mind. Okay. So, Harad are going to be poorly disposed towards us. And hello! What? What? Oh god. The the enemy has made a critical error and the time for our attack has come. Um <laughs> Oh dear. Um okay. Well, um this is an opportunity too good to pass up, so we're gonna just, just deposit all of our troops here on the shore. Uh put people into a fort, and then these people are going to join up and gang up upon this bastard. Yes, boom, ba dum, bum, bum, tish. So, we should be able to win this. We have twice the number of men and, uh, well, not quite twice the number of firing power because apparently they, the Dulgubalak is the best ship in the game. But hopefully we'll manage regardless because we have, t I mean, twice the numbers in every other regard. Let's see. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. Very good. And then we shall simply set after them because they don't have the amount of movement that we do. And if we can sort of decapitate those guys, yeah, that would be great. Oh yes, very much an enemy ship. I know, that's why I'm here. Mad, mad lad of a haddock. Um, right. So, 
What else we got? Well, um... We've got some cavalry that can go to a fort over there. We've got some Haven Guard that can go to this one. And this fella can go up there and he can get his cavalry detachment as well. Though they're not going to be crossing anytime soon. Well, at least until Sackle Thor has been Sackle sunk. Um, how's Barathon doing for culture? 63%. You know what, maybe that'll just have to do for now, because I want our lad over here to see exactly where Tirithoris is. I shall continue uh. Okay. This is the kind of show that can just be dominated by our dear, dear... Imbrahil. Yes, assail the enemies of Gondor! Um... Hmm... And we could theoretically bring along the cavalry without any fuss. But really what we're interested in is getting Mistvin over there. Because he's a potential administrator for this part of the world. Do you know what? Oh, he could even walk over here. Boom. Ha ha. These straits are dire, but we will secure them regardless. Hmm. Orders. These fellows go over there. Our treasury gets a little happier. Haven Guard, you go over As there. Orders. Uh, these yes. fellows go over there, and boom, 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 tish. Everything works out. We have a spy here, Mablung. Not to forget about him because there is a bit of destruction here. Hello there, Finglin. You know, this seems to be the kind of situation that could be solved next turn by just uh, calling upon some Nimradel Mariners and uh, some Haven Guard. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to root out this rebel problem. Uh, until then, uh, can we just spy on these people? Yes, we can. He didn't get any better than that, um, but we'll see if he can uh, improve next turn instead. Speaking of, ah, uh, very disappointing events. Rebels going on the besieging path, eh? Huh? Me no like. Can we get them to back off? That would just be wonderful. Otherwise, we'll just smash them. It's okay, but uh, it'd be wonderful if we can get them to just not do what they're currently doing without a fight, you know? Hmm. Communal farming? Yeah. Yeah, seems like a good idea. Or maybe a, maybe a master's hall. Just because we can upgrade it fully. Uh, Barathan, you need a land clearance. You need a lot of things. <sighs> mm. Meeting hall, barracks. will lighten the corruption load and at the same time become more defensible. And after that, militia garrison. That'll cut corruption in half. Let's have a look. Ooh, Sacklethor sits like a duck or something. Smack this, smack this, moo. And there he is. Give him another sucker punch. Come on, how many can he take? Next thing you know, he'll be depositing his troops upon our shores, and that would make me rather sore in the bum department. Anyway, hmm. Everybody can reach the place actually, so I'm just thinking boom, boom, boom. 
Esperan, perdón. Um, yeah, mm, the spy. Mm, you should just go this way. And over there. And then, um, smack this move. Oh, they don't want it. Uh, okay. Well, in that case... We'll form up into one huge army and smack them silly. So, we're doling our justice to Captain Finglin. Let's go. Here we stand. It's a slightly rainy day. But I've seen worse. I live in Denmark, after all. And... Yeah, we're, we're just going to put our archers straight out front, and where are they? Oh, they're up on the hill. Okay, they've got a lot of crossbows, some marines. What happens if we just charge the crossbows? One wonders. Uh, and then we can redeploy, actually. Like that. That seems good to me. Let's see what how these guys do. Schmuggadabookadaboo. I mean, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good work, man. Good work. Come everybody, you'll be under time pressure apparently. But, our oh dear, sorry I've forgotten your name, our dear lad over here, he is um, very curious to make acquaintances of these crossbows. Okay. Okay, okay. Again. Schmuck, that's better. And give him another one. And get back again. We will smash the enemy. Oops. Okay. Time for the mariners to start focusing exclusively. Sorry, our yeah, our mariners to focus exclusively on their mariners. It's a mariner mariner battle. A mariner mariner battle. A mariner mariner battle. A mariner in a battle who will commit to mariner battle. And the Haven God projects. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, it's going pretty well. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory Okay. Uh, time for the... All Mariners to do all their thing at once. Just gonna run everything down. That's what happens when the Haven Guard goes to town. And there we go. Pursue and run them down. Okay, you're gonna go for those, then you're gonna go for those, and for the last bit of it, you will... Uh... Do -do 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 -do. Okay, apparently you're bad at chasing down the enemy, but, I mean, we have one, so... There's not really much point in going much further. Except for to gain experience, I suppose. But, oh, you gained a point there, which I do enjoy, so... Let's leave it at that. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. 
39 losses of ours against 600 of theirs. I like that. Five experience point gained. <laughs> Four hour dear bodyguard. Hmm. Yes. I guess he did the most to win this battle. Um, we lost a lot of our Haven Guard there. Was that uh, a javelin throw? I suppose it must have been. I suppose it must have been. We healed a little bit. Not too much, though. But we'll regroup. Life will be good again, I promise. So, we've sacked the rebel camp and Bornivan. Can you get back to anywhere? Maybe Dol Amroth, actually. That'd be good. Because no one else will, by the looks of things. Hmm. Methrast. You could retrain some Haven Guard eventually. But let's send these Haven Guard to Dol Amroth. Oh, goodness, I sent them all. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, cavalry, back to Mithrast. Keep it safe. Now, my plan had been to face them right there and then split off in opposite directions so that the ones starting in Mithrast could go to Dol Amroth and vice versa. That could have worked out logistic wise, but. Uh, those bastards had other plans. But Bornivan proved himself a capable commander. Let's see what happens with Nimrus Simir. Oh, he will just stand there and take it, apparently. Well, in that case, uh, let's dole out some justice. Alright then. We have a fort. They don't. Um, and there they are. Can we just put everybody over here? What is it? I think that would be pretty nice. We have a lot of spearmen coming in today. From various corners of the world. And they want to run away. Which is a bad thing to do in this situation, because we have the cavalry power to just stomp them down. As they do. Ride swiftly, my friends. Yeah, Into the Raiders! Yeah. The General's unit is that uh, warrior type. With big axes, not much armor, and... Um, yeah, That makes the most dangerous unit to our cavalry probably the Corsair Archers, to be fair. Yeah, don't go into a fight on even terms. Alright, 17% of them. It's pretty good. Oops, there we go. Schmaggity schmuck. Oof. Yeah, you can't say it doesn't hurt them. And they run toward us. Hmm. Uh, you guys just uh, form into sensible positions, okay? Where do we have the archers? Yeah, that would be them, I think. Maybe. Or maybe it's not. No, there they are. There they are. Okay. Ride them down then. Yep, 
And charge into them. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, yep, yep, good. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ben, can you run a bit? I think you can. Raiders, archers, raiders, archers. Okay. All going over there. <laughs> well, in that case, let's keep the guardsmen in there. And... Pikemen, just, yeah, go poke those Corsairs. Cavalry, go against the archers. Okay, they're shooting our infantry now. But that does not hold up forever. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The warriors will fall. And there they run. Good, good. That's basically the end of them. These Corsair Raiders will meet superior infantry and after that... They will be further demolished by a rear charge. Yep. It's time to press the attack. Not a fun time to be a pirate. With great speed, attack. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. And our cavalry performance has been pretty outstanding. Gaining experience as well. Lovely. All right then, the enemy camp got sacked. Uh, hmm. We can send various people around the place, but it's most relevant for the best cavalry to be at the front at all times. And let's see what happens with Tirthoros. They might be persuaded to launch an attack on us, given that Imrahil and Istion now stand alone. Let's hope! And they do! Captain Arthur! Sell swords and bandits. Not a worthy opponent for the Lord Imrahil, but he will take what he can get in these trying times. Must act and halt this turn of events. We must act, he says, and uh, well, we shall. First of all, we just need the opponent to act so that we can run them down. Oh, the soul souls made it out first. Good. This means we can take them out. Meow and meow. Beautiful. Dol am Loth. Took out half the mercenaries and the. Uh, yeah, good. And their leader. Now we can just run them around a bit until they sort of decide against having a plan. Or maybe decide upon having a plan. Oh yeah. And then we can destroy that plan. Like this. Dum 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 dum.
Imra Hill is, of course, smashing it as usual. <laughs> he just took half the bandits out in the single charge. How? Oh. He's like the Terminator. I can just run down the bandits with Istion and uh, kill the them. Yeah, there we go. The field. Pursue and run them down. Look at that. And nothing will stop us now. I think we're good. The enemy are utterly <laughs> vanquished. This is a great Look at that statistic. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. We didn't even heal anybody. They managed to take out three of us. And we took out over 450 of them. I'm sorry, Rebels. It's not going that well for you. So, Tirithoris is ours, and the Straits have been secured. What a lovely day. Oh, yes. shall we say hello to... Kand? I think we shall. Um... Well, we can offer trade, and something further for me to hear. Then, oh yes, there is much more, much more. You can give me money. A time-honored tradition. Well. There is merit in your suggestion. Indeed, Kakmak. Indeed. Bring words with meaning. Farewell. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um. Yes, my lord. Yes. Tomorrow's journey. Yeah, they're up here in Eastern Harandor. But there is a region here which they have not taken. The land the porous. I will only address you in battle. Mate, ready your weapons. Tirthalos, this place needs a meeting hall. And then Istion can sort of have it as his base, I think. What's Come this? Thorandir. You are not worthy. Or maybe Mistven should take Tirthalos as his base. It could be a better option. Forward. Keep the cavalry mobile. Let us set up camp here. Yes. My lord. These fellows will be in the fort for when they are needed. Um, Gondor cavalry militia. You could be retrained in Blinher. We could even bring Amandir down to Barathan soon. Okay, he would have an impact on Barathan as well. So maybe taking him out of Lin here wouldn't be too bad. I think let's do it. Let's do it. That's what we're going to do. It's an investment in a place that will be our future. Hello, Gondor. Okay. Ships ready. Now, where did that bugger go? Ah, uh, we neglected to put our... To put Sackethor in our sights. Ah, there he is. Good bye. And thus, we have removed a pretty significant problem. That faction out of the Ardenheim had one of the best units they will ever field. And he's gone. He's gone. Like that. <sighs> Feels good. Feels very good. And what I want to do now is to grab some dudes. And take them along for a ride. As you wish. By your command. Perendur. Out you go. We can go no further. Because this is a decent little army. Marinus. We could even toy with the idea of taking Umbar. There will be much less down there to assist us now that we're taking out one of their most important generals. 
Ah, uh, it is tempting. I think we should. We just might want to send a little extra. Um, so what we'll definitely do is uh, we'll get Artheon to move down there. He can move on land though. He's pretty quick. Hmm. And then what I'm thinking, and the episode is about to wrap up, but to wrap up and surmise our strategy from now on, having sort of secured the straits, or at least taken the straits, not secured them yet, but we have taken them, um, we will need to focus on getting south. Now the big question is whether we want uh, to deal first with Harad or the Ardenaim. And actually we want to deal with both, and we should deal with both in some measure. Because if we put all of our energy into just expanding southward with Imbrahil, which we could do, we will run the risk of dramatically overextending ourselves in a way that is completely unsustainable because then Harad will come in with all they've got because we are all the enemies they've got at the moment. We don't want that kind of power to be thrown through thin defenses and that is the future we would inevitably face. So I'm thinking that Imrahil shall be the uh, guarantor of peace in Harandor um, because he can be in many places in a short period of time. He's got punch. He will be able to say be in ha Barathan in like 1.2 turns. Which is pretty cool. And he could take Amon Aithel. He could even take the fight to Harad actually. Um, so that is by and large what I would like to do. Take the fight to Harad a little bit. And Amandir will stay in Barathan for a little bit, grow the place, make it really profitable and nice. Because when Barathan gets profitable, it gets really profitable. Uh, it's got good access to all of our heartland regions and their trade ports. And it's got some lumber yards and a few things that could uh, be good trade resources. So it's got the potential, it just needs to grow a heck of a lot. Um, but once it does, it's good. Um, now, what else do we need? Well, we should probably get oh, the troops in here. This should have gone with Admiral Pellendur. Yes, that's what we need to do. We'll send Adrahil down to Umbar. He'll be able to hold it. So. Down to this fort you go. And next turn we'll just make a slight U-turn. <laughs> And uh, then we'll get people on board. Um, shall we get some Gondor Militia? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get some Gondor Militia for next turn. And then the army will sail to Umbar. And that'll be that. But that'll be turn two. And hopefully we'll be um, off to a rocking start with that. Um, I mean, I'm already pretty positive about how we've uh, progressed so far. So, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of the Dol Amroth campaign, and I hope that you are looking forward to more. I can guarantee that the next episode on the channel will be an episode of this campaign as well, just to kick it off in a nice way. And then we will round off uh, Harad and um, the Woodland Realm in due course. But for now, be good to those around you, be kind to yourselves, and I will see you soon.